Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. Uh, if you want to become a member of my channel, please think about joining. It is $2.99 per month to join and you get really cool badges and emojis. Um, yeah, so we do have some new members. Thank you for the gift membership, Steve. We have Danielle. Cranage, Persephone, who is our mod, Bella, Orest, Milhai, Mihai, Constantine, uh, Mimi, Martin, Kaj, Christensen. So yeah, welcome you guys. Uh, if you were gifted a membership, that will be good for 30 days. So do enjoy and please use those emojis. Yeah. All right, you guys. So let's get into this reading. You're starting with love unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection attraction and of course you have the runner uh you have someone who perhaps is an avoidant or they have an avoidant attachment um you also have coffin thinking something is over endings bringing new beginnings so if you are in a relationship or some kind of connection with someone who's a runner to me, that is someone, okay, so specifically, they just be somebody who likes to run. Maybe they run marathons or something like that. But relationship-wise, this is someone who has a fear of intimacy or intensity in a relationship um, with coffin. Hmm. There's some type of growth here, a transition. So I feel like in, so we're going, in the rest of March here, we only have like this week left. And then we're going into April. So I do feel like there is someone whom you might come to realize that this person has an avoidance kind of attachment style. Um, and when you have someone who is running away from a relationship, it's important that you not chase that person. It's important that you focus on self-love, stay secure within yourself. Um, try not to act out of like anxious anxiety or anything like that okay so you've got the six of swords so there is somebody here i feel like there's someone in your life who is going through a huge like transition here um making some changes and if they're not in your life at this time you're not connecting with them or communicating this is what i feel like is happening with this person okay um let's take a look here and see they're making some kind of change. They might be relocating or coming out of a comfort zone. Um, I feel like someone's avoiding, not like avoiding the relationship, but kind of like not, pre yeah, they're, they're dealing with some restrictions and insecurity. So someone, you're dealing with someone that's got some type of mental restriction. They may have, not. it's not necessarily bad. Um, there's just a, like a mental health issue. Um, it could even be something as similar or something as simple as like they have autism or something along those lines. Um, and the intensity or the intimacy can be too overwhelming for this person here. Okay, so that doesn't mean anything else for you. We'll take a look at you. But I feel like they're giving this impression that they're giving an impression here that something is over, but I don't think that's really the case here. It looks more like, um, it's kind of like a, I, I want you go away scenario. Like, I don't feel like somebody here doesn't want to be with you. I don't get that sense. I feel like actually it's the opposite. Somebody here holds you in high regard or esteem. Um, yeah, you know? But they have some kind of like this eight of swords energy trying to like it just feels like get avoid this they're they're the, a trigger avoid some kind of a trigger so if you're loving somebody virgo um it feels like this person kind of runs away from the intensity and they end like the end of relationship where they just kind of close a lid on it like or i don't i don't feel like they really are doing that i just feel like they they're taking space like they're taking this space and then in this space then they begin re-idolizing you 
Um, not that they stop doing that, but it feels like there'll be some kind of communication coming forward f from someone here in April. Um, giving you like, looking at you like you're something pretty amazing here or telling you that. Yeah, I don't know, that's weird, Virgo. It just kind of feels to me like this person pulls away because of the intensity of the relationship or feelings or emotions. They don't know what to do with it or how to handle it. And then um, they return, they come back once they get themselves like in a safe place is what I'm feeling. Okay, yeah, look at that. So much struggle. This person is just, they, they, they've got struggles, man. Hmm, okay. So what is going to be their energy? Because I do feel like they're going to reach out to you in April, try to talk to you. They're also, it feels like having some financial struggles as well. All right. Three of wands to the four of wands. So they're going to wait for you. This person is not a pursuer. They are not a, pur a pursuer. If you reach out to them, like they're waiting for you, for you guys to come together. <laughs> you know, I know Virgo. I know I can hear you now. I'm tired of reaching out all the time. I'm tired of pursuing. I'm tired of, you know, it's just why am I the only one? It feels like it's, you You want that evenness. You know what I mean? But I don't feel like you should judge. Uh, if somebody's not reaching out to you first, doesn't necessarily mean that this person doesn't have feelings or affection towards you. Um, it just means, it could mean a lot of different things, okay? I know, you're like, why is, why, this person runs, you know? If they feel like it's too intense or it's too much, they bolt. It's a struggle for them. So I feel like this person likes to take their space when they need it, and then they come back around. So in April, there's definitely going to be some kind of like communication from this person, and something to do with um, commitment of some sort. Okay, we've got Gemini here. Hmm. So it looks like they're thinking about something. Um, they're saying waiting for the right time to come together, have a new chapter, manifest a new beginning with you. So it's a timing thing. So it too but i also feel like you know right now virgo your message here is to focus on your own emotional security and stay in a very good positive place try not to think that this person is running away and then i'm not seeing a finale of something being over i just feel like they need a lot of space they're just that person okay so i mean listen you have to ask yourself, obviously, is this kind of relationship you're comfortable with? Maybe you have, may, you might be the type of person that needs um, space as well, so it might be okay. If it's not okay with you, either something for you to address within yourself, or it's just, now nah, that's too much space. How can we build a bond if there's too much space between us, okay? Um, let me take a look at you, Virgo. So... To sum up, I feel like this person is going to reach out to you. Um, they already have you on a pedestal. They think the world of you for sure. They want some type of, you know, like they will manifest some kind of new beginning with you here. A, a change, a start, come out of this avoidant thing here and go to the next. There's a reunion for sure and move it to the next level or start over. After the world comes the fool. So this is freeing themselves up from needing this space and for them taking a risk to start over again. For them, it's a risk. This person, like I said, the Eight of Swords is there. So they have some kind of mental um, restriction of some sort. So let's take a look at you. So you have the lovers. Wow, Virgo. Okay. Now, it's interesting because I'm looking at this card Look at them. There's space between them. This is the freedom to love each other without extreme attachment. Okay, so it, I feel like the message here for you is let go 
and give somebody the space that they need to be who they need to be because it's kind of like the it's kind of like I always bring up this scenario like um when the dog come when your dog comes up to you with a ball with a ball wants you to get it from when you try to grab it the dog runs away um because the dog wants you to chase right but if you just stand still and not try to grab it the, the dog will actually come to you and drop the ball to you so I kind of feel like the message here for you is let it be just let something be and allow this person to come to you um don't hold on too tight hold on oh that's an old song 38 special hold on loosely just hold on loosely but don't let it go do you remember that song my god that's a great tune that is such an old song i can't remember all the the words to that song and god forbid if i um show you the lyrics right hold on loosely um something that you see it all around you good love and gone bad and usually it's too late when you realize what you had and my mind goes back to someone i left years ago who told me hold on loosely but don't let go if you cling too tightly you're going to lose control your baby needs someone to believe in and a whole lot of space to breathe in. It's so damn easy when your feelings are such to overprotect them, to love them too much. Yeah. Don't let them slip away, but don't hold on too tightly. Hmm. I don't know. I guess that song must be for somebody. The weird, the weird way that it just came to me, right? So I kind of feel like that's a strong message for someone. Um, here listening just um pray let it go stay in the stay in their presence but don't ha don't hold on if that's something that you want of course you know you guys i say this all the time if that's something that you want give them the space to be free to love you to be open and vulnerable some people if they're pushed too hard to talk or to express themselves um then they'll clam up if they don't feel comfortable, you know. Yeah, kindness, six of cups. So you, obviously, somebody here, you're showing that you want, some, these are both reconciliation cards, reunion cards. Um, so it looks like you really do love this person, Virgo. Page of Swords, King of Cups. You might be watching them to see who they're talking to or if they're loving somebody else that's negative energy in your head um if you're spying on them don't do that pull back from that energy just deal with this person directly um because i feel like um if you have a connection with someone i they're looking the other way they're not even looking at, at anybody else like their back is turned to what you might be thinking is, is happening but I don't see that that's that there that anything's going on there so I mean it's kind of like you know if the person runs away and they're not talking to you and they they have an insecure attachment or something along those lines everybody always thinks well they're not talking to me because they're talking to somebody else but that's not always the case right and if you happen to know that to be the actual case that like you're sitting you're listening to this and you're like no my person is with somebody else okay then this is not for you this is for those of you who are kind of like well i can't confirm i'm not sure i just need to be more in a self-love state and get myself more secure okay chariot so you have a decision to make here whether to move forward with this person into harmony. So I feel like maybe you're trying to stabilize yourself a little bit here. I see that progress will, it's going to go forward. It just feels like that song, those lyrics and that energy with this person. If somebody runs away, don't chase. Just be in your happiest strongest secure securely loving space of your own you know um because then if you run after them they've run away more and then if you decide to run and they chase now you guys are in this runner chaser dynamic and that's toxic you just need to be still you'll know 
if you just be still, right? Keep the balance. Um, keep that emotional balance. You don't have to run from anyone. You don't have to chase anybody. That's that we weren't put on this planet to do that, <laughs> to run after people or, or, or run away from people, you know? I mean, but at the end of the day, you need to decide if this is a partnership that you want, of course, you know, Virgo, because I feel like it's, when you love someone, you love them in all their mess and even all their greatness. You know, that, that, that's what love is. If you understand this about this person already and you're just like, no, that's, you know, I almost feel like the message is just kind of be cool, just chill, just relax. I feel like I have to tell you and I know nobody likes to hear, oh, just relax, relax, will you? That's what I feel like I have to tell you, Virgo, just relax. I feel like um, this person is sorting some stuff out within their, their mind. Okay, past life love. So this is someone that you're already dealing with. Okay, this doesn't feel like a new connection. What else do you need to know? There you go. Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Let it go. Hold on loosely. Hold on loosely. Give someone space to breathe. Don't let them slip away, but don't let go. Uh... I'm sorry. Don't let them slip away, but like, don't let them fully go, but don't hold on too tightly. That's the message. <laughs> yes. Here and now your true love. This person is your true love. Okay. Okay. There's an addiction affecting this relationship. Now, some of you might already know this. Uh, they might have some type of an addiction or an addictive personality. Um, where they're st they run, um, or they're not necessarily running away, but um, they might use substances or other things, people, places, and things to cope, you know. So it's kind of like they become emotionally unavailable for you because of an addiction, and that could be playing out here. This might be something that you may not even realize or maybe you do okay um and being in a relationship with someone who's an addict that, that's like you're a mistress you're like a, a in a third party affair there okay so if you i mean like this is up to you like you can either get some help for this because you, you love the person you don't want to let them go like you don't want to give up on them or if you've done everything you can and it's just like you have no attachments to this person, then it may, maybe it's better for you to just focus on loving yourself at this time. You know, I can't tell you what to do, but I do see there is some kind of an addiction that this person or you, codependency can be addicted, addiction related. Um, you could have an addiction to this relationship as well because the person does, um, this in and out, which creates a dynamic um, of intermittent reinforcement. So yeah, Virgo, a lot going on here. Deep psychological kind of reading, you know, definitely. Okay, so your message here right now is just to wait, let everything be, just wait, just chill, don't do anything, don't run, don't chase, just let it be, let things be. Let's see what their Chinese sign is. And live your life at the same time, right? So when I say wait, I don't mean sit by the phone and just stare at it 24 hours a day, right? Or keep looking at your phone or checking text messages, see if this, just get on about your business, Virgo. You wanna go outside, take a walk, go take a walk. You wanna go spend some time with some friends, maybe go to the movies, just go live your life. Make yourself happy, fill yourself up with joy. All right, let me see. This, yours or theirs or both of you. Okay, year of the rabbit, year of the pig, year of the snake, year of the monkey, year of the ox, year of the tiger, year of the rat, snake again, year of the goat, okay? All right, now let's move forward. What other messages does Virgo need to have or Virgo need to know? In the month of April here, 
other messages that Virgo needs to know for the month of April. Okay. Intimacy. Hmm. Be aware. Now that's what we were saying. Sexual chemistry, reminiscing. I feel like this person right now is thinking about all that. You might be thinking about that as well. Um, or their fear of intimacy. Okay. You've got distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, listen, Virgo, if you feel like the bond, ha so the bond between two people is created through trust and, and emotional and even physical intimacy. If that's not happening, what do you really have with this person? That's the question. What do you really have? Are you like pen pals? Are you just friends? If you're friends with benefits, is that something that's working out for you? Okay. Some of you may be going through a divorce from this person or maybe thinking about breaking up. We do have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, and you got cycles. Something ending, something beginning. So this might be a cycle that you'll experience with this person if you're not already. This is a pattern. How do you break that pattern? You stay secure and emotionally safe and keep yourself just in a very balanced, be in harmony with yourself, right? Because I feel like the cycle might be one person, you know, an in and out kind of thing. Avoid that. Avoid that in and out by not chasing and not running. Um, it's kind of like being as secure as you possibly can and not trying to personalize something or not trying getting yourself in like a major catastrophe catastrophe state like oh this person's gone it's over or they're coming back we're gonna be together forever just try to level out i feel like that message okay let me see what else does virgo need to know what other messages all right transition the end of suffering is upon you, out with the old and with the new. No one said it'd be easy or has been. The season in your life is transforming and bringing you into a new hemisphere. Allow it to happen and go with the flow. It's now time for change. That's mostly about you. Just being, um, just going with the flow with something. Just letting things be. Because, you know, everything eventually works out anyway. It does. It always works out. It, it, it always works out for you, Virgo. It, it, you may not get what you want, but you will get what you need. Okay, yeah. So this person I'm hearing is still undecided right now. So just, you know, leave them be. You also have good news about money coming in in April. Okay. And then you've got, yeah, a new chapter. Look back on it so that the world card is there. Look back on the past chapter one more time if you must, but only to help write the next new pages of your book. Travel, explore the world, space, the seas, the psych. Learn, meet new people, live your best life, and allow the past to cycle out. A new journey is ahead. Take someone with you or go solo, but do go into this new chapter. So what is your new chapter, Virgo? What is your new chapter? reflect go into your cave for a while you need to regroup and recollect a lot is going on and you need some alone time stay in the stillness and the quiet but don't get lost and don't dwell tell people you're taking a vacation pull out for a little bit you need a recharge so this is about you reflecting what do you want to do virgo here with this connection what do you need to do this person is going to reach out you will have a message from an admirer so it's either they're going to initiate communication with you they do admire you or um, they're going to respond to you so you will hear from this person try not to um i feel like don't read into anything i'm hearing okay and you also have the wheel of fortune luck is on your side the wheel is turning in your favor you have the midas touch good things are coming now so be ready yes you deserve all this good karma's on your side for all the good you've put out it's coming back around and what a payoff it will be i love it i feel like you got the most positive messages i really do all right let's take a look and see so we've got august 31st again 
We have the letter E, the letter M. Someone's 32. We have September 7th. The letter F. 1968, 1987. Okay, somebody's birthday is in November. We got those tennis rackets again. They were there yesterday. Um, 1981. We have the letter J. 1978, 1965. September 13th. We have the letter A and the letter O. A O. A O. Oh, that's Deo. We have someone's born in April. We have the 29th of August. The letter I, the letter A. Someone's name might be Ian or Amy. Um, okay, the letter V. Someone lives in Victoria. We have the number September 3rd, August 24th. We have F again. Someone drives a Fiat. Do they even make them anymore? I just heard Fiat. We have the letter Q. Did I say September 13th? I don't remember if I did, but I see it there. <clears throat> okay, we have the letter K, right when I said okay. We also have an elephant here. Elephants are good luck. Yes, they are. We have T, Katie, KT, the letter T, TKA, TK. Someone is 43. Someone lives in Kansas. Either Kansas City, Missouri, or the state of Kansas. Okay, someone's 53, someone is 48. Hmm, someone drives a Tesla. Um, someone is in Idaho and uh, also Ohio. Someone is from China, I just heard. Mainland China or China or is Chinese okay? Someone is in Florida, is in Florida and Nebraska, and also someone's in Hawaii. Okay, let's see what zodiac is here Capricorn, Aries, Taurus. And Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, we have Capricorn again, Aquarius, Virgo, Gemini again, and Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, and yeah, double Pisces, and then it just slipped over to Capricorn. Okay, so you've got an elephant here, you have tennis rackets. Oh, give me another September birthday. Hmm. Okay, September 1st. Also, I'm getting August 23rd. I'm also picking up September 5th, uh, 15th, the 12th. Okay, I think I said the 13th. One more charm for Virgo, please. Okay, that's interesting. And you have the words, love me. Okay. That's like, love yourself, Virgo. <laughs> if you feel like someone's not loving you right now, that's okay. You know, um, you still can love yourself. If you're in that position where it's like, you feel like you can't be happy unless someone loves you, that's a lie that you tell yourself. When someone loves you on top of you loving yourself, that's a, that's a bonus, like a bonus in your paycheck, you know? loving yourself that's that's what you owe yourself for being who you are um if you start loving yourself you then you don't have a crazy need you don't need that um that validation it's nice to have it it's a bonus but when you really love yourself you don't need to seek others to love you right because pff, who else can love you better but yourself right so maybe you have that written somewhere or maybe you just need to remind yourself that you're worthy of love if you're if you're in a situation a hot and cold situation or someone pulls away or and then they're in and out of your life you know um i feel like the most important message is if you're dealing with someone like that that they have an avoidance complex there might be something that you need to look in because even if you're super super secure 
even someone who's hot and cold or in and out of your life can trigger that, right? So maybe not try to chase the person, but maybe try to understand this is what you're dealing with and it's not you, it's them. Um, now, if you're someone who is very anxious, very, very anxious, you're going to want to hold on. There's a lot of stuff that you can read, a lot of books and there's YouTube stuff. And so the, the ultimate goal, as I always say with the readings, is to focus on you and make yourself better in the best possible ways that you can. And I know it's not easy, but it's it's a it's a healing process and it's, you know, one that you just work at every day. But try to be as positive as you can. Because I do feel like whoever this person is in this reading does hold you in high, high regard. But they have, they're kind of like, um, like skittish. I feel like there might be a little bit of skittishness attached to them for some reason. I'm not exactly sure. But I'm going to leave that there. I hope that that gave you some insight and was at least entertaining to, <laughs> to some degree. And yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. And I will see you all back here tomorrow. All right. Take care. Bye. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.